Tables, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this bomb hair, honey. Honestly, this shit is lit. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, y'all. So if you can't tell, this honey is a whole wig. I had to like fix my little baby hairs. Let me just get into this. This wig right here is from Uni Wigs. You guys have heard of Uni Wigs. This is actually my first time collaborating with them. They hit me up and was like, "Hey, which wig you want?" I was like, "Bitch, let me search." So I knew that it was summertime. I knew that I wanted like curls. I didn't want nothing too big, but I wanted something like real nice and summery. I don't know why, but for the summertime, we seem to gravitate to like real big bushy hair. And I used to do that growing up until one time I found a fucking bug in my hair as I was like taking my weave out and I was like, I'm never going back to bushy hair again. Um, but this summer, honey, look, it is what it is. I wanted to come on here and review this wig because honestly, when I debuted it on Snap like two days ago, everybody went crazy. Like they was like, what type of hair is that? So let me get into it. So this is simply the Remy Curly Hair Human, it's called Remy Curly Human Hair, a lace wig. So I actually have a video where I am actually um, preparing this wig. So let me just put this over the screen as I talk. Okay, y'all, so before we get started, let me just show you how I tinted this. As you see, this was just too light for my skin. So what I did was took my foundation, which was a concealer and then um, a light foundation, and I just mixed those two together, and I wanted it to match kind of like my skin um, because as you saw, that lace was a little bit too light. So once I mixed this together, it was like my foundation color a little bit. I was like, perfect. I'm just going to take this and dab it onto the lace, and I'm going to take a beauty blender and just dab that product all onto my lace just to tint it so I'm not using any tea bag I'm not bleaching it this is just like the quick method um, and it works really really good if you just blend your foundation together um, dab it onto this lace and let me just show you what it looks like when I put it on my head because it's lit honey look at this it is so much better and you're gonna see the end product when I get done so now we can keep talking so the wig, the wig had already came with like a pre-pluck hairline and it also came with like baby hairs and such which was like lit. Um, and it taught me something new about baby hairs and wigs. I love the way that they did the baby hair on this particular wig. So what I simply did was I took it out the package and I didn't even wet it or do nothing like that. I actually wore the hair as is. I just used my got to be glued and kind of like put that down. I forgot which combination of the got to be glued I used, but it'll be on the screen. I simply put that down and tied it on my head. Like I said, I didn't have to pluck the lace i didn't have to part the hair i didn't have to detangle i didn't have to do nothing when i got this wig like it legit was just ready as soon as it came out the box woke up the next morning and then you're going to see that the baby hairs are already there like i did not have to do anything i simply just put like some gel on it to lay it down or like really form them to how i want them and then they were really cute and i wore it in like a bun then i wore it out like <laughs> it was just lit So now, you guys, okay, so I had it in a bun. This is how big the hair gets. If there's no moisture to it, if there's, if you just take it out, this is just as big as it gets here. Now, it may be a little tangly because I just took it out with my little pineapple, but this is it. I wet the hair. This has no products in it. It's just wet. And it calmed it down. What I did yesterday was when I wet this hair, I put like this cream in it. I put the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream in it and then I locked it with some oil. And I noticed that even throughout the day, the hair did get bigger like this. So it toned it down, but as my day went and as the hair started to dry, it started to dry like big. And I was trying to revert. I didn't want it to get like that because this is pretty big. Um, It's pretty, but you know... Because it's so hot outside, you just don't want this big hair. So if it would have um, dried like this, you know, really calmed down, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually going to switch up my product. I'm not going to do the curling cream again. I'm just probably going to use the gel. So this is the Define and Shine Custard by Cantu. And it looks like a gel, like such. And I'm actually going to use that on the hair. 
So simply what I do is just use my little spray bottle and I use it to wet it. I don't go to the top because I like to keep the curls defined there. But as you see in the bottom here is where it really needs to be like wet up. It really needs to be like wet at the bottom. So I'll just do this side while we're on camera here to show you guys how I do. And it does require like a generous amount of water. So upon getting the wig, I'm going to be completely honest, I was like, oh, these ends got to go. Like, the ends just look really bad. But I was like, these shit don't cut anything until you really see how the wig really, like, works out. And I'm glad I didn't cut the ends because, one, I would have bluntly cut it. I would probably cut it too short, and I wouldn't have liked it today. So as you see, I'm kind of, like, detangling with the water in it, and it's not giving me as much problems as you would think like curly hair would give you when you go to like detangle it and such like this wig is actually like the real MVP let's be honest so as you see I'm still like detangle it now if you also notice I am getting shedding from the wig which is completely uh, normal and to be expected like I said I didn't wet the top because I didn't wet the top because I still want it to be like voluminous at the top but I do want that bottom to be calmed down some and like I said there is shedding from the wig it's a curly it's a curly wig of course it's going to get knotted once you comb it out you're going to receive some shedding so while we on camera I'm just going to take this um, Define and Shine Curl Custard and I'm actually going to put Put this on the hair and see how it like works because I want the hair to actually dry like this I don't want it to dry pretty big even in its big state it looks really pretty but again you know you kind of just want to look like a little Dominican Betty you know I'm just going to go in with my Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to take that and put that on this side. So now it's kind of, I'm kind of going to be able to see the, like, which one works better for the hair, especially with the bushiness. So of course I'm going to have to come back on camera. But let me finish adding this Eco Styler to it. Okay, so I have Eco Styler Gel on this side, and then I have that curling cream on this side. And I'm actually just going to leave the hair alone, and I'll probably come back later after the hair has dried, just to show you guys what the end result looked like and how it looked like, I guess, after my day. But I didn't tell you guys, it's a lace front. It is a petite, that's the size of it. Now, a lot of people or companies assume since I'm a heavier girl, my head is big, but honestly, my head is like really small. So the caps that I get from other lace wig companies don't really fit like that. I would have to kind of like put bobby pins or anything like that. Like, honey, this cap is tight. I love this. A petite cap. I, simply, I could just pull the drawstring and then that got to be glued, keeps it tight too. So it's easy for me to put my hair up in a bun. Like, I, I could really manipulate this wig because it's tight on my head. So it's a petite. It's also in the color jet black and the length is 20 and this is a full. 20 inch which I do like too so as of now as I've told you I've been wearing a wig for like two days and out of all the wigs that I have received this is probably like the best wig that I've ever gotten only because it comes pre-plucked and then these like hairs this pre-plucking stuff this is all what the company did. This wig is literally like right out the box you can put it on. If you're into the whole big hair, you want to do this natural big bun, um, I'm going to insert a clip where I wore, wore this big bun. If you want to do a look like that, this is the wig to go for. I really, really love it. You guys just see me like wet it and curled up. Even when combing through it, there's no tangles. Like, it's curly hair, so you're going to get some little, you know, tangles. The shedding is only when you comb it out, which is to be expected because it is curly hair. The knots are going to happen. But it's just so gorgeous. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to come back a little later just to show you what it dried and what it looked like. But until then, I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, all my links are going to be down in the description box below. They are having like a 15% off back to school sale that ends on the 23rd. So if you want and you're interested in this rig, I think it goes to like 240 You would definitely use that code for it. I also have a coupon code that says NeNe10. You can use that too. That is a lifetime code. But if you want to use that 15% off, it's on their website. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys a little later. Talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.